boys and girls, let's look at page 133 in your already reading workbook. Page 133, this is part one, um, lesson 19, part one. Page 133, listen and learn words with pictures. It says you can find details in the words and pictures of a text. Putting together these details helps you describe key ideas. Um, here are questions you can ask about words and pictures in a text. What do I learn from the details in the words? What do I learn from the details in the pictures? How do the details in the words and pictures fit together? Asking questions about details uh, in words and pictures will help you understand and describe the key ideas in a text. Now, um, using words with pictures does not always have to do with um, like actual books or actual stories. Um, it's also a skill that's important when you are maybe cooking. I know a lot of you have probably been cooking with your parents or your grandparents um, while we've been on break. And so, like in a recipe, you have a step-by-step -step list of instructions, but beside you usually have um, the pictures as well. And a lot of times the pictures will tell us um, more precisely what to do just by showing us or what it's, uh, in case of a story, what it's about. Um, so more details can sometimes appear in pictures. So that's why it's important um, to not only use the words, but to use the pictures as well. And so your actual assignment is on page 134, 134 down here at the bottom at the page number, 134. Now it tells me to use page 22 Elizabeth Leads the Way does not have page numbers. So I had to go through, and if you were using the actual physical copy of the book, you would need to go through and count the pages to make sure you're on the right one. And so here is page 22. Now, uh, my question says, what do the words say about the new idea? Now remember, in Elizabeth Leads the Way, um, she and some of her friends and women all around the world were trying to come up with ways um, to make things equal for women. My hint box or my clue says, how can women change laws? Now, my actual text says that was the one thing that could change everything. If women could vote, they could help change all kinds of laws. Okay, so I want you to look, and I'm going to put it closer to the screen for you. I want you to look at the actual words, and another clue is part of my picture. It says, that was it. That was it. Um, so what was it? Look at your words. That was the one thing that could change everything. If women could vote. They could help change all kinds of laws. Give me a nice, strong first grade sentence, please. Now, if I scroll down, the next question says, what does the picture show? Whose idea was it? So I need to look at what I just pointed out. I have a picture of our main character with the words, that was it. Whose idea was it? What does my picture show? Okay. My turn and talk says, add up the details. How do the words and pictures tell about an important idea? So you can talk about that with your friend. If there's a friend that might be doing schoolwork with you, um, you can talk about it uh, with your parents or your older brother or sister or your younger brother or sister. Maybe you can show them how the words work with the pictures um, to give us more details about important ideas in our reading.
I hope you're all staying well. I hope you're getting on your Zooms with your teachers if you're able to. I hope you're remembering to work on your iReady reading on your iPads and your iReady math on your iPads and any other apps um, that your teachers are um, encouraging you to work on. Um, we hope to see you soon. We miss you more than you'll ever know. And just keep working hard.